Well, it's been too long since we opened a box of D'Agostini figures, and it is definitely time that we dive back in. So stick around, and we'll open up our next six, I think, <laughs> figures from the D'Agostini line. Hey there everyone, my name's Perry. And my name's Jason. And welcome to... The Potter Attic. Guys, it is that time. It is time to open up our next box of D'Agostini figures. And I honestly have had these for months now. I, I want to say it's been almost four months that these have been sitting around collecting dust, but there's just been so much stuff to review and look at, and I kind of wanted to break them up so that I wasn't shoving D'Agostini down your throat every, every week. So I don't know what's in this box at all. I have no clue and I know he's gonna play this game with me and want me to guess, but I'm gonna be so far off. I, I only know of one, one specific one that's in this box. Other than that, I have no clue what, what's in here. So without further ado, let's slide this over to you and let you do your thing. I'm not looking, not looking at all. You. And you can pick out one, one okay. um, get your hand on one because you I know I, I don't trust you. I, I don't it. trust you one bit. Let's see. Um, I'm going to say you're going to give me Luna Lovegood. I don't know if she's in there or not. Why do I feel like you're switching characters? Okay, all right. Ooh, and we got one of the Weasley brothers, and I'll be honest with you, I don't know which one this is. Um, this could be Fred. This could be George, because one is holding the suitcase, and the other one's holding, like, a little present. So you want Is it brick? Yeah. yeah. No, it's wood. Uh, well, well, let's get it open. Let's take a look at it. So I've got a knife right here. Let's slide this open. Now, guys, I have been in communication with quite a few people on eBay uh, trying to to uh, to obtain the rest of this collection. It is tough, and I have just recently seen a few new ones that I've never seen before, which I was super excited about. Um, but they're asking quite a bit for these little tiny figures, so I'm willing to hold out a little while longer to try and get a much better deal. Um, but let's take a look here now. And I again, like I said, I can't remember if this one's deemed as Fred or George, but it's one of the Weasley brothers. So without further ado, let's take a look at jo Fred or George, one of the two. So I, I really love the details of his briefcase. I mean, the briefcase is really top notch. I think they did a great job on it. And they've got Weasley and Weasley on the side of the, of the briefcase. Uh, I love the, the look on his face as he's, you know, looking like he's gonna get into some mischief here, doling out his goods. Um, I get, I love, I mean, his outfit, the expression on his face and his little orange hair. Well, very well done. Very well done. What do you think? This one kind of looks, looks like you. Seven out of ten. He, he's got the similar hair. Oh, it similar hair. His, his, his hair is a little, no, it's a little bit lighter than yours. No. Yours is darker, but it's yeah. pretty, it's pretty close. I mean, you guys tell me what you think, but I, I think that's pretty similar if you ask me. Okay. Next no. one. Who do we got? Um, oh, okay. Let's see. I got to guess. I'm gonna say, oh, oh man, no, you're not gonna give me that one yet. Let's say, oh, um, ne no, we've already done a Neville. Oh gosh, this is so hard. I'm gonna say Cho Chang. Oh, you did give me Buckbeak. I was gonna say Buckbeak. I was gonna say that. Buckbeak is one of the big ones. They've got a couple of these that are that are larger scale. So they've got um, Buckbeak. Uh, the Thestral, Fluffy, I think those, oh, um, um, I think the Troll is a larger scale as well. So this is, this is my first larger scale one. So let's get this one open for sure, because I love a good Buckbeak figure. Let's slide this in here. Come around here. All right, and let's pop Buckbeak out. Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Oh yeah, look look at the base on that one. Look at his feet, really good. So he's on rock. Yeah, yeah, he's on like like stone. Yeah, for sure. So let's take a close look at Buckbeak. I think they did a fantastic job with this one. And honestly, if I had to if I had to pick, I think they did a better job than the Eagle Moss version of uh, of Buckbeak. I this is a really top notch Buckbeak. 
uh, from his beak and feathers down to his claws and his hooves. Um, I, I love how they've got the one wing kind of cocked out to the side while the other one's tucked in. Yeah, I like this and, and, one's better. Yeah, and I love the, the little stone base that they gave him as well. Oh, I have a question. Uh huh. Why does his back feet look like a horse and his front feet look like a chicken? Because he's a hippogriff. That's, that's just how it's done, right? I mean, you've got the, it's, the, it's like an eagle and a, and a and a almost like a horse combined i mean yeah i mean they do have the back end of a of that so i think he looks fantastic though guys you guys are gonna have to give me your comments below because I, again i think this one is nine, top notch nine i'm looking point i mean seven out of ten ooh, nine point seven that's a higher rating than i get on most meals that i make so <laughs> <laughs> um but uh i mean the, the only Buckbeak that I have in my collection that I think I like, uh, that I know I like better than this one is the one by Iron Studios. But this is, this is uh, I mean, really top notch for the scale and everything else. So place Buckbeak right there. And, oh man, is there a Hermione in there? Hermione maybe? Pull out who you got. Let's see who's in your hand. Who you got? Oh, you gave me Cho Chang this time. So, all right, let's break in the Cho Chang. So another frustration that I have with these, with all these companies, and, and honestly, D'Agostini did probably the best job of everybody, but there are other manufacturers that gave us a Cho Chang, right? Cho Chang, who's in bits and pieces of, of the movies, not a humongous role in the, in the movies, but no Arthur Reese's. I mean, at least, at least D'Agostini gave us a, an Arthur Weasley um, as well. So, I mean, they, they're the only ones. But how do these other companies not give us a, an Arthur Weasley? I just don't get it. So, I'll just toss those out there, get them out of the way. So, without further ado, let's take a look, a close look at Cho Chang. So, I really like... Uh, this Cho, uh, this version of her in her um, Ravenclaw robes with her little skirt on. Uh, she's got, you know, a pretty large wand. Um, that, that straight dark hair that they give her in the movie. I mean, I, they did a fantastic job. I love the flow of her robe, kind of how it's like twirling around her and everything. Uh, and then I love the, again, how they give you the different bases. This one's more like the castle stone, you know, like the stone floor and everything. So very, very nice. Guys, I, I, I'm really happy that my friend talked me into collecting this collection because, I mean, there are some really great figures. I love, and I love the scale. You know, they don't take up a ton of real estate, and the detail is fantastic. So, um, I'm going to say you're going to give me hmm, 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 Hermione, just because that's the way your brain works, right? And, oh no, this isn't Hermione. This is um, Lavender Brown. Do you remember who Lavender Brown is? Lavender Brown is the girl that has a crush on Ron and dates oh, Ron for yeah. a little bit, right? And that's who this is. Again, they gave us a Lavender Brown. You know, not many other collections have given us a Lavender Brown. So this is, I, again, I think besides Lego, um, I can't think of any other collection that I have that has a Lavender Brown. So th this is a pretty extensive collection. Um, they did a really great job of, of giving us a good rounded, um, you know, a, a selection of different characters. And I just saw online um, they get uh, Cornelius or not Cornelius Fudge um, uh, Shacklebolt. Uh, I just saw Shacklebolt for the first time. Got to have him. He looks amazing, and nobody else is really well. Lego Lego gave us a Brickheads version of uh, of Shacklebolt, and they gave us a little minifigure as well. But this Shacklebolt looks fantastic. Uh, they got Harry on a broom that I've never seen before. I'm trying to think of some of the other great ones. I mean, there there are some really good ones right now on eBay. Uh, they are not cheap. They're going for way above what I'm willing to pay for these little mini things. But um, at the same time, I, I can hold out. I mean, it's just nice to see them so that I know what I'm looking for when I'm trying to complete the collection. So without talking about it anymore, let's take a close look at Lavender Brown. I love her hair. I, I love how they gave her the, the kind of the kinky curl that Lavender has in the movies. Uh, I love her, I mean, again, her, her Gryffindor skirt and robes. Uh, I love that she's got her wand out. Um, I think they did a really, really good job on her. I'm looking to see. Um, there might be a little bit of paint mess up on her extended hand, uh, but all in all, 
I mean, they did a really good job of keeping the paint where it needs to be and keeping the detail to look crisp. I, uh, very, very good, and I'm happy to have a lavender brown in my collection. So, I mean, she needs a little bit more representation, if you ask me. Um, let's slide her over here. And let's see, how many is in there, by the way? How many, how many do we have left? Three. Three more, so there are seven. It's okay, so there were seven in this box. Uh, I'm gonna say one more time with Hermione. You got, oh, who is this? Oh, we got our Hagrid, Hagrid. This is my first Hagrid. Yeah, because we don't have any Hagrids over there and I have been super eager. And a few of these are packaged in different boxes. So I know that they either came that way um, yeah, I mean, because it literally clearly says Harry Potter on here, and this is the box, but I don't know why they were packaged differently than the, than like, almost like the figure packaging that uh, they did for the other characters. But let's pull Hagrid out of here carefully. And, oh, this one, is this one taped? No, it's been, the tape's been broken. What if you broke something? Oh, that would have made me, made me upset. That, that would have, that would have been heartbroken. Yeah, I know, that is pretty cool, wasn't it? So, yeah, I mean, they did a fantastic job with him. So let's take a very close look at Hagrid. I love this version of Hagrid because it reminds me of, of the scene where he's with Buckbeak. I mean, he's got his dead ferrets around his neck, uh, the lantern in his hand. Uh, I love the details they gave him with from his knife at his, uh, on his belt. Um, the, the lantern in his hand looks so good. The expression on his face, I mean, they, and I love how they gave him a sca the scaling that's bigger than the rest. Because, I mean, it's Hagrid. Hagrid should be bigger than the rest, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, what's that thing on the back? This little thing? It's just yeah. like a little pouch. You know, like you can carry various things in. So just a little pouch there. So I love this, and I love the fact that they gave him like this, like this um, gravelly base. Like he's standing on like a, like a rough path, maybe in the Forbidden Forest, I don't know. But I mean, very, very well done. This one is, ooh man, either him or Buckbeak are my, are my, my favorite okay, for the that's... day today. I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll have to make our decision after we see the rest. Um, let's see. Oh, I know I'm gonna regret when I change, but I'm gonna change and I'm gonna say, you're gonna give me, oh, another student, not Hermione. You're gonna give me, um, who's another student? There's no Draco in there, um, cause these were all like good guys. I remember I was separating them. I just don't remember what's in here. So let's just say Hermione again, cause I can't remember who else I put in here. And we got Luna. Okay, Luna, this is one, one of the versions. So there's two versions of Luna. This is basically like her, um, you know, practicing her spell, probably more so in the, um, like in the room of requirements when they're practicing the Patronus and all that. Um, I think that's what this one's supposed to represent. And I didn't get underneath it. I messed this one up a little bit. Oh, there we go. But, I mean, she is so tiny. Look how tiny she is. She sounds like a rock. Mud. Let's see. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, she is, isn't she? So, well, let's take a close look at Luna Lovegood. So this particular version of Luna I really like because everybody kind of leans on the one with her and the and the Spectre Specs uh, clutching the Quibbler. And this one's more, you know, just Luna, you know, just being, ba you know, basic Luna, kind of in, in you know, regular attire, not all kind of crazy looking and, and more um, eclectic. But I love this version. I love her little pose. Um, they did a fantastic job with her hair. The paint job on this one is spectacular. I know that a lot of her stuff is kind of dark, so it's easier, but when you get into the detail of her hair and her tie, and her hands and, and every in her face. I mean, they did a spectacular job on this one, guys. The Augustini has not disappointed me whatsoever. And I remember somebody discouraged me, um, uh, tried to discourage me to collect this line, saying that they weren't good. Uh, but honestly, I think they were way off. I think this is a phenomenal collection. I am very happy that I started it. I will be sad once I complete it, but happy at the same time. So last one, I'm going Hermione again. I think there's gotta be a Hermione in there. No, I don't have a Hermione. I cannot believe that, but this is a spectacular one. You got nonetheless. one of them right. I know, I did horrible. I told you, I, I couldn't remember who was in the box. This is, Buckbeak was the only one I remembered was actually in that box. And I was going to guess that one time and say Buckbeak, but uh, I didn't think you'd give it to me that soon. So <laughs> tricky. Always tricky. I know. You're always always trying to, to prove me wrong. Remember when 
mom put that in front of your face um, at Christmas? Yes, I do remember that. The evil, the evil little little uh, grip hook over there. So, so we got Fox, and Fox is super tiny. I mean, this is the tiniest Fox that I have in my collection. Um, they actually could have scaled him up just a little bit because I feel like he's so tiny sitting on that perch. But without further ado, let's take a close look at Fox the Phoenix. So I love, I love this. I love how it's sitting on the wooden flooring that's in Dumbledore's office, sitting on his little perch where they, it, when he bursts into flames, it'll catch his ashes underneath. Um, the detail that they did on Fox looks fantastic. I love the the you know the red with the touches of gold in there, kind of you know showing that you know he he's a you know a phoenix, you know ready to burst into flames. I love his claws and his face. I mean, they did again spectacular, guys. Spectacular. The this collection is that, and this is empty, right? Yeah. This collection is honestly one of my favorites i mean it really is because it's so impressive how much the detail they put into these okay so you want to do first, first to last time huh? oh man getting a little crazy there with haggard sorry buddy um all right so first to last i am going to give haggard top belly haggard is definitely my favorite today i think he looks fantastic buckbeak's going to come in second I'm gonna go with Fox. I have a weakness for Fox next. Um, honestly, I wanna say Fred or George, either or. Um, I really like Lavender, Luna, and Cho. That's my that's my order right there. That's okay. how I how I think they Mine how I like them. Is... Careful. Actually no. This is exactly it. What? Alright! We got the same picks, guys, so I like it. Yeah, I mean I think these are phenomenal. There is no, you know, no loser in this group. I mean, I think they all look really good. But honestly, I mean, Hagrid is definitely the, the winner the of the day today. The rocks. Yeah, the gravel road that he's kind of standing on it does look spectacular. But you guys are going to have to comment below and let me know your mm -hmm. thoughts because honestly, I mean, it, they're they're. I mean, you could pick any of these. Depends on you know who you like more and, and and everything. But I mean, I think Hagrid is kind of a fan favorite, so I think he's gonna get a lot of votes if uh, if I had to guess. So yeah. Um, most of them are on Rocky. That's Rock. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. That's Rock. Yeah. That's rock. rock. Yeah, and then you've got what? Do we got two on the wood and two on the like st on a like yeah. you know, stop stone? There's three rocks. Yep. And two stone and two. Wood. Yep. So let me ask you real quick. So out of the collection, okay? Like all? What's it like out of all the different collections, right? Gentle Giant over there in the cabinet. You know, we've got Eagle Moss behind you right there, okay? And I'm looking for more realistic, you know, collections, okay? Uh, um, Inesco or the big statues there, okay? Iron Studios like, um, like him over, um, uh, Haggard over there and Ron over there. That's Iron Studios, okay? And and this collection by Diagostini, okay? Mm -hmm. Who would you say is number is your favorite out of all of those? So what's that one called? Which one? The big statues or the little ones in the back? The little ones. In the little back. ones in the back are by um, Eagle saw. Moss. Eagle, Eagle Moss. Moss? Okay. Uh huh. Um, it's tough, isn't it? It's tough. I sit down here, st st <laughs> staring, kind of spinning sometimes in my chair, just kind of looking around. Or Eagle I'll, Moss. I'll pace around you like the eagle moss collection it is a good collection it really is honestly i think they did a fantastic job on all of those with the exception of the three harrys and i may have just gotten three bad harrys because i know that there are some variances out there in the quality of some of the characters maybe i just didn't get three good harrys and there are three harrys maybe out there that look better than mine i don't know but beyond the harrys that collection is spectacular. I absolutely love every character in that. This one, I am really looking forward to getting the Death Eater. This collection has a Death Eater. That collection did not. Uh, I really wish that they did give a Death Eater in that collection because it would have been a great uh, addition uh, for sure. But there's a lot of figures that that collection didn't give because, uh, I mean, I think that it's because they went out of business. So, but. Guys, like I said, comment below. Let me know your thoughts because I really want to know um, who your favorite is and then what do you think of this collection? Is this something that you guys would add to, to your collection? This is one's it, my third. 
This is your third. So you said Eagle Moss, uh, Eagle Moss is number one, and who's number two then? Um, the big statues. So you like the UNESCO statues? Mm -hmm. And then this one's number three. Okay. I can tell you right now that most everybody's going to say Actually, Gentle Giant is number one. No, I, I, I didn't. I didn't. You forgot about Gentle Giant over there? Yeah, yeah they are Gentle spectacular. Gentle Giant is second. Yeah, they're spectacular. This is fourth. Yeah, you like the little things. So I really honestly thought that this one would come up higher in your pick. So, but. More detail. Guys, that's all we got today. I mean, we've got uh, a, a, an amazing collection of little figures that we had a, a chance to take a look at. So if you made it to this point and you haven't yet, please, guys, do not forget because it's huge for us and the growth of our channel. But please don't forget to Check click out. that subscribe button. Click that bell notification. Give us both a great big thumbs, thumbs up. up. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram and TikTok too. Oh. <laughs> yeah, over there. Oh, guys, I i mean, it is truly magical opening up a great collection of figures. Oh, do you have something else? Yeah. What? Okay, I noticed, I just noticed this. Uh-huh. Look at his eye. You see the black spot? Yeah, uh-huh, that's his pupil. Oh, I did, I did, I never saw that. Uh, okay, yeah, that's his pupil, so that's so funny. So, but, um, thank you so much for joining us for another magical moment, and until next time, all, all you wizards, wizards and muggles alike, keep it magical. magical.